Let's now solve another problem in algebra. And we deal with variables. Many a times we come across several problems. Let us suppose there are two friends, Ali and Hamid, had certain flowers. Ali said, I have five more flowers than Hamid. We don't know how many flowers did Hamid had, and we also don't know how many flowers did Ali had. The only thing that we know here is that Ali has five flowers more than Hamid. Now, many a time we come across this kind of situations where the numbers are not known. Now, in such a case, what can happen? We don't know how many flowers each of them has, but Ali, Ali's flower is equal to Hamid's flower plus i. Is this a correct statement? Yes, because Ali has five flowers more than Hamid. So whatever is the number of flowers which Hamid has, Ali has five more than that. Now in this case, suppose Hamid had ten flowers. Then how many flowers would Ali have? Ali would have ten plus five. If Hamid had 15 flowers, then Ali would have 15 plus 5 is equal to 10. So in such a case, the flowers can be any number, but we don't know how to represent this. Now suppose if I were to say that let the number of flowers, let the number of flowers with Hamid equals x. So x can be a variable. x can have any number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So then how do I compute Ali's flower? Ali is equal to x which is Hamid's flower, the number of flowers which Hamid has plus so what I have done is, I have put in this statement which was that the number of flowers which Ali had were equal to number of flowers with Hamid had plus 5. Now you can compute the number of flowers which Ali would have assuming different number of flowers with Hamid. So say, suppose we are said that Hamid has 15 flowers, then Ali would have 15 plus 5 is equal to 20. This is also what I told you here. So this is how algebra works. What happens is that you know certain facts, there are certain variables, you fine tune those variables and bring them down to a statement which will hold true for all the numbers. 